Hi, my name is Kitty Underhill and I'm here with the Unedit shooting for their digital issue. Uh, today we're shooting a fitness editorial which I think is incredibly important because it's so standard to see a very slim body in a fitness editorial. Not only that, but fitness and health is always used as a weapon against fat people. Like, why don't you go to the gym? You can't be healthy if your body looks a certain way. It's all a load of nonsense and I love that the Unedit is really working today to work against that very popular and sucky narrative. This editorial especially means a lot to me because I've always had a very difficult relationship with exercise and moving my body. I really struggled with my body image and as a result I really struggled with the idea that I could actually move my body and it be a nice thing rather than be something to punish myself with. It was nice to be in a really loving atmosphere here at Elevate with Hannah and for her to teach me how to move and to flex my body in a way that not only looks after myself, is considerate of my hypermobility, but also in a way that's fun and isn't about how many calories can I burn? How much weight am I gonna lose tomorrow? This is the thing, we've got to separate this idea that movement is just about weight loss. It's so much more than that. As soon as we can start to see that, we're all gonna feel a lot better about doing it. I think it's especially important to see bigger bodies. I mean, I know I'm not the biggest of bodies. I classify myself as an in-betweeny model because I'm not quite here, I'm not quite there. I've got small boobs, but a big bum and belly. And I know that if I'd seen a body that looks a little bit more like mine in a fitness video or in gym advertisements, I'd think, oh, maybe this is a space for me. It's currently the way that gyms are advertised, they feel very exclusive. I think people over a certain size will feel stared at or picked on or bullied in these kinds of fitness spaces and that's not the way it should be at all. It's about time that we deconstruct the idea of what health and fitness is. Health and fitness is not a body type, it's not a size, it's not a shape, it can be anything. And even if you're not healthy, you know, or fit, that's fine. We've got to stop expecting people to fit into a very ableist narrative of what a body should be. Some of us can't move, some of us can't run, that's fine. As long as we are compassionate about our own bodies and kind to our own bodies, that's what's most important. This shoot also really highlights the fitness brands are finally noticing that fitness and health don't always look a certain size or look a certain way. But we are seeing a movement towards fitness brands selling bigger sizes. And that's the point. Plus size people deserve to have fitness clothing. And it doesn't have to be just for going to the gym. It can be going to pick up, you know, your local shop from Tesco. The whole point is that fitness clothing, fitness needs to be accessible to everyone and not just someone who looks a certain way.